Hey, it's Evange. So today I'm going to show you how to make this what I'm calling a lazy lolita skirt. And the reason I'm calling it a lazy skirt is because I'm using elastic. Not only have I used an elastic waistband, but to make these um, gathers, these ruffles, I've actually just sewn on elastic. And if anyone's familiar with the way I sew, the way I like to make things, you'll know that I like things very, very tailored, very fitted, very crisp. So elastic for me is lazy. Um, that's basically it. So uh, yeah, this skirt is really cute. Um, I, I guess uh, this particular one I think looks kind of like Little Bo Peep. Um, I'm not sure if this counts as Sweet Lolita or Classic Lolita or maybe Hime or Heim. Not sure how it's said. Um, but yeah, it's a, a pretty cute skirt, I think. Um, and it's actually really, really simple once you break it down into its components. So keep watching. This is going to be a tutorial on how to make it. Also, you can check out my website, www.evangesews.com, for patterns and step-by-step -step instructions, uh, just in case anything in the tutorial isn't clear. So to start, I've just cut out a half circle skirt. A half circle skirt is just a variation on a full circle skirt. Um, and if you're unsure about how that works, you can um, check out my video on circle skirts. But um, basically what I've done is I've measured my hips, not my waist, my hips, and I've multiplied by two, found the radius, and then, you know, cut out the, the pattern. Um, but uh, the reason I've used my hip measurement and not my waist measurement is because this is going to be elasticized at the top, so it's going to have to pull on over my hips. So that's why I've used my hip measurement. Um, and then as far as length goes, um, it's not going to go all the way down to my knee. Um, it's just, this is like an overlayer to, for decoration. So it's about, I think it's 17 or 18 inches long. Um, so I'm just going to sew that into a skirt. Okay, and now that it's been sewn um, into a, a loop or into a circle shape, um, you just need to finish the bottom edge. You can finish the bottom edge however you like. You can just hem it, you can use lace, ribbon, bias tape. Um, in my case, I'm going to add a ruffle, but you can finish it however you want to do it. It's just at this point you need to finish this circle skirt or this half circle skirt, this edge here, um, because you're not going to be able to go on to the next step until um, this raw edge is taken care of. So I've just finished my edge with a ruffle and then a little bit of lace. So this could be a finished skirt as it is, you just need to put in a waistband. However, I want to add scallops to the bottom, which is where it's gonna come up. So I'm gonna turn this inside out, and then I'm gonna mark off some um, lines uh, to go from the waistband to the hemline, um, and then I'm gonna sew some elastic along those lines. So I've got a line marked off on my fabric. It goes from the hemline to the uh, waistline. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a piece of elastic and I'm gonna sew it from the hemline to the waistline, stretching it as I sew. So that is gonna be how I make my gathers. And this is what you're gonna end up with. So the second tier of the skirt is going to be what's known as a dirndl. Now, if you're unfamiliar exactly with what a dirndl is, check out my dirndl tutorial, but basically it's just a skirt that's cut straight and then gathered in. So what I've done, I've cut out three panels of fabric. Um, it's just, you know, the width of the fabric as it came on the bolt, which in this case is 45 inches. And then the length, it's um, the length just from the top to wherever you want the skirt to end, plus seam allowance, plus hem allowance. So it's pretty straightforward. So I've cut out three pieces of fabric like this. I'm just gonna sew them in a loop. So you can see, I've basically just sewn it into a big loop. Uh, now, with a normal dirndl, you'd uh, gather it into the waistband. However, for this particular skirt, um, that would just put too much bulk in the waistband when there's already a bunch of other stuff going on. So I'm going to offset it a bit. So what I've done is I've cut out a, a piece of fabric. And this is um, a half circle skirt also, like the outer layer. Um, and it's going to match up exactly to the top, same measurements at the top, except for it's a lot shorter. So this is going to just offset my dirndl by about five or six inches and that'll just, you know, take the bulk, move it out of the waist so it's not uncomfortable or anything. But also it's going to help give the skirt poof 
because it's offset. Um, so it's kind of going to lessen the need for a petticoat also. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, gather my dirndl and then attach it to this um, uh, half circle. And that's what that looks like. Uh, so the next step is to just hem it. Uh, and what you're going to do is just fold it over and iron it, then fold it over and iron it again. Uh, now I've included like maybe six inches in my hem of fabric. Uh, and the reason why I've included so much fabric in the hem is because more fabric means more weight. More weight means it's going to drape better. So I uh, just fold it in, iron it, and then um, I'm using blind hem stitch, but you can use any stitch you like. So you're just going to then take uh, this outer skirt and sew it uh, or baste it at the top to this uh, dirndl style skirt and then add the waistband. So I've sewn on a waistband and this is the final skirt and I've got to go out the door like right now. Um, so yeah, um, check out my website. I guess uh, I did skim over a lot of stuff in this skirt so I will do like a full tutorial. But yeah, it's like awesome, like little bow peep. It's very full just because I kind of staggered the layers and I did add a lining. Um, doing the same thing as the, the middle layer, except for um, I staggered it even lower. Um, and then I've got my bloomers on. Awesome. Thanks for watching.